And it doesn't matter because they know that's what he's going to do. But it's like sometimes we go out there and we think that one guy's going to do this and then he's got three guns on him. He can't do it. And then we're just sitting there doing nothing. It's, it's insane. And then we're waiting to lose is what I, how I look at it. He's still one of our best friends even when we played Impact. We, I fly in every, every, pretty much every weekend, uh, and then I uh, fly in on Friday. We practice Saturday, Sunday, and I usually go home. Him coming back was just the perfect thing because it was just, it was just another, another weapon. Week starts off, uh, you know, we, we show up to watch the guys play uh, the Thursday practice. We're kind of checking out other teams and seeing what they're doing, trying to get ideas. So when Keith coming back, he just really just came back home. I think we we felt pretty good going into Friday. First game, I mean, we came out and uh, we made it very important to win the first point, and we did. We went out there and we won like four to five dudes alive. Like, it's pretty ridiculous. The, you know, the way that that point felt, and then the way the rest of the game went. Our first game with AC Dallas, uh, I think, you know, me and Keith definitely agree that we. We didn't know the field as well as we should have. Do I need to be 100% on the gas or, or do I need to hold back because, you know, I, I haven't figured it out. And I think we all need to be on the same page of when somebody's going to do that, knowing that, you know, that's the risk. Me, you know, I'm not the coach, but I will say something if I don't disagree with something. We haven't figured out our dynamic and, you know, time management and, you know, when to do certain things and who to put in certain spots. We have a, we have a small roster, but we you know we have to make use of what people are really good at. And uh, we also didn't do very good in-game scouting. That is a very 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 huge problem. Second game, same same thing as the first game. I we didn't win the first point, but they went up 2-0, but we came back and won two very good looking points. I don't understand like the way the communication and all that stuff rolls and I think we are so the problem is we have timers in our brain of like you know when we go down a few bodies of of people not wanting to dig out the games and, and kind of we just try to battle too hard and then the game's over. If you go watch the Russians you know Smotrov is flaming out and it doesn't matter because they know that's what he's going to do. But it's like sometimes we go out there and we think that one guy's going to do this and then he's got three guns on him. He can't do it. And then we're just sitting there doing nothing. It's, it's insane. And then we're waiting to lose is what I, how I look at it. We definitely lost our, our first day, which already puts us at maybe a less than 5% chance of ever making it to Sunday. Our only chance was to, I think I did the math and it was like six plus, six plus. So we needed, uh, you know, plus 12, uh, and we needed to beat those teams. I mean, we're really good gunfighters, but the way these field layouts are, it's, it's, it's hard to break across, especially the way that the, you know, like I said, the way the field layout are, it is. And then you're, you're fighting back instead of, you know, taking it to other teams. Third game, I mean, uh, it, it's hard to say because it all, it only happened in a few points. And same difference as far as like three on threes and stuff like that. We didn't win them. There was a four on two we didn't win. A three on two or whatever it was. I don't even know what it was, but next thing you know, we're all dead at the same time. Uprising very hard to scout because they're just free, kind of freestyle. That's kind of how I see them. They just kind of, just kind of stay in a breakout, but one guy will go, hey, I'll just go this way. You know, they didn't do anything special other than go up the middle. And they're good gun shooters, they're smart guys, I like them. You know, and it's kind of unbreakable. At that point, you're w waiting on one guy who's on the Dorito side, because the snake side's not, it's not doing anything. You see everybody, they're going to a tower and they're bringing a bunch of pods and they're waiting. They're, they're kind of counter punching is the way the snake side's working. So he's not really doing much, but the middle guys are really dictating how the, the point works. And when they get up the fields, 
I'm telling people, yo, they're here, here, and here. They're like, yeah, well, can't go get them now. I didn't expect the game to be such a low scoring game. So the, the, the difference in the fourth game, if you noticed, I did the same thing as I've been doing the entire tournament, but I was so much more productive. They were like, okay, well, now we're playing Elevation for the last game. And I was like, well, they got nothing to lose either, so they're, they're going to be running around like crazy. Chad was in there, and he was being proactive, you know, as far as coming over the top of the first race on the on the Dorito side. And, and then he can kind of see what's happening on the field, and then he's applying pressure to them. They feel pressure, so now I can you know, look to go. And then when I'm obviously getting in there, you know, I'm uncontested in the snake, which I'm gonna shoot two to three people, you know, in their backs. And and uh, we kept sending him up there and it's very different to go through the middle and then to, then uh, then to have Keith go out to the corner and then him wait for a couple of kills and then be able to just bust all the way down the snake because that's how the snake is. It's not there off the top. It's not, it's not there in the very beginning of the game. You have to get a couple of kills figure out what's happening in the middle or just play off the cast that's happening in the middle and then get into the snake and start making and changing the game. The, the thing that we really, really needed to do was get up there first, establish the cross, and then we could create some offense, you know, on both sides, you know, the Dorito and the snake. Uh, if you can get those couple kills and open up those opportunities, then it's super important and it can change the game like within 20 seconds. We never used what we called the Godzilla, which was the Dorito side uh, brick. And um, it was the most dominant bunker on the field. There was one bound shot on it, but it didn't matter because he's not looking that way anyway. And he's literally controlling 50% of the field by looking cross. And uh, we didn't know how to go in there. And it crushed us. It's, it's, it's a tough one. It's really, really tough. It, it hurts too, it hurts. I don't think that we have the wrong players on the team. I think we have the right players on the team and we've been playing together forever. So what is happening? Like what, how, I think, and not just us, I think a lot of other people outside of, the, outside of our organization probably expected a lot of us this year. You think that, you know, you're the missing piece, the piece of the puzzle, man, but it's not just one thing all the time. You know, I may have came and, you know, maybe some people are expecting me to pull these games out. And it's crazy because I'm getting just as much pressure as, you know, as, as always. So it doesn't always produce that way. And, and sometimes you expect it to work that way because sometimes it does, but it doesn't when a team is doing it. It's, it's crazy because we've all been doing it so long, but I really came from a team that was doing it right. And I think that is the issue that we're missing on some of these things. And I've been preaching drills. I've been preaching drills and not playing D1 teams. I don't want to play them. I don't want to play them because we're not learning anything. They don't give us anything. They run into corners, which is realistic. As you see, nobody's running a damn corner, but they're doing it. They're getting bounced, but they don't let us know. But we need to play ourselves. We need to do drills. We need to get back to the fundamentals. I've been, I've been saying it since I came back, man. I'm not gonna lie, I've been saying it. And I mean, we're gonna talk about it and, and that's what's gonna change. And hopefully that will uh, help us get back to where we need to be. If you tell me I do something wrong, like tell me how I can fix it, because I do want to get better. Like uh, that's the only reason why I come out and do the things that I do. And, prepare the way I do is because I want to get better. So if you can help me, then help me. But just don't say I'm doing something wrong just to say I'm doing something wrong. He's actually consistent, doesn't die, you know, doesn't die early, that, that, that type of thing. And if I hear a familiar voice next to me, like it just makes me feel more comfortable when I'm playing. You can say that. You can do a better job, yes. We could do a better job. So we do have the ability to win. You know, people over here fucking talking about some don't look down. I'm looking down because I don't want to look at you. I'm not looking down because I think I'm down. Don't get me confused. It was another thing that I could say, like if we're in a finals game, like the very the last point, like I want Keith next to me. Because I've been, he's been next to me for the last 10 years or so. Yeah. 
So, or you know, since damage, was, you know, started winning, go forward, or winning, yeah, everything. So everything was fine. I still smile every day. I'm not like down, down. I'm upset of what happened, of the result. But don't, don't come to me talking about keep your chin up because, dude, I've been doing this for a minute, and I got three rings at home, and they're nice and shiny, and they make me smile every time I see them. So don't worry about it. <laughs> I'm doing good, but I could be doing better, and uh, that's that's what I'm gonna do. So. Oh, my God.